if 1 plus sin square theta is equal to thrice of sin theta in multiplication with cos theta prove that tan theta is equal to 1 or 1 by 2 we are given that 1 plus sin square theta is equal to 3 sin theta cos theta let us divide left hand side and right hand side both with cos square theta so we will get 1 plus sin square theta divided by cos square theta is equal to 3 sin theta cos theta divided by cos square theta we can write it as 1 upon cos square theta plus sin square theta upon cos square theta is equal to thrice sin theta upon cos theta why because cos theta and cos square theta the terms are cancelled you will get 1 in place of cos theta and cos theta instead of cos square theta so 3 multiplied by sin theta multiplied by 1 is nothing but 3 sin theta and you will have cos theta in the denominator okay now we know that 1 upon cos theta is sec theta similarly sin theta upon cos theta is tan theta so using these two results we will get 1 upon cos square theta is sec square theta sin square theta upon cos square theta is tan square theta and equal to 3 tan theta which is sin theta upon cos theta we know that sec square theta is equal to 1 plus tan square theta so using this identity we can write sec square theta as 1 plus tan square theta once again tan square theta as the second part is equal to thrice of tan theta so in this way it is twice of tan square theta minus 3 tan theta plus 1 is equal to 0 so this is a quadratic equation in tan theta let us assume tan theta as x so tan theta is equal to x so given quadratic equation is reduced as 2x square minus 3x plus 1 we can factorize this quadratic equation with the help of middle term splitting method so we want two numbers two numbers such that their multiplication is 2 and their addition is minus 3 so we find that these two numbers are minus 2 and minus 1 the sum of minus 2 and minus 1 is minus 3 and multiplication of minus 2 and minus 1 is 2 so 2x square minus 3x plus 1 can be written as 2x square minus 2x minus x plus 1 which is equal to 0 from the first two term we can take common 2x inside the bracket we will have x minus 1 now we want to take a number common from these two terms such that you will have the same terms as you got in the first bracket so so doing so you will have to take minus 1 as a common term from the last two terms so minus 1 in multiplication with x minus 1 is nothing but minus x plus 1 so the quantities inside the brackets are same and it is equal to 0 now you can take x minus 1 itself as a common term so you will get x minus 1 and inside the bracket you will have 2x for the first part and minus 1 as the second part and it is equal to 0 so we have split it the given quadratic equation in two terms in two factors they are x minus 1 and 2x minus 1 and they are equal to 0 now 
the multiplication of two terms or you can say multiplication of two numbers the result is zero it is possible only when either of these two numbers is zero so you can say either x minus 1 is equal to 0 or 2x minus 1 is equal to 0 if x minus 1 is equal to 0 it means x is equal to 1 and if 2x minus 1 is 0 it means 2x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 1 by 2 so we have found the two values of x the first one is 1 and second one is 1 by 2 we have already assumed that x is equal to 10 theta so we can say that x which is 10 theta is equal to 1 or 1 by 2